morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your car. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, January 10th. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. S&P's market's pretty flat. S&P just slightly green, NASDAQ slightly green, Russell slightly red, Dow slightly green, gold slightly green, silver barely red, notes and bonds up a tiny bit, 10-year yield down 0.67. Oil up 1%, natty gas down 4 All the grains down about a quarter to a half percent. Euro and the pound slightly green. And Bitcoin down about 3.5%. VIX at 12.87 at the freeze. Looks like it'll be a little bit of, a con uh, little bit of an expansion in VIX into the open. Although ES was a little bit red about 10 minutes ago, so we'll see. I've got uh, my AM Iron Condor on Wednesday that I'll be entering. And then, assuming VIX doesn't contract after, after the open. Um, and then I've got to close a 1 2, a 2 4. Uh, my two, three, and that's it. And then the only couple, couple little things on the, uh, Economic scheduled uh, data front here is uh, at noon central, the 10-year bond auction. And then at 215 central, FOMC member Williams is speaking. For those of you trading oil, crude oil inventories at 9.30 a.m. That has been pretty sideways here for the last month or so. Scanning through the futures, see if there's anything that I want to take on a futures trade. I did take a short Bitcoin last night. See if there's any follow through on that down move after the, was it a false report that the ETF was approved or did it actually get approved? I hadn't, I haven't looked. There is the opening bell.
expected move for the day, a little over 17.3. So that puts our upside expected move at around 47, a little over 47.77 to the downside, 47, 42 and a half ish. And my AM iron condor should start firing. As well as my one DTE iron condor. Nothing is firing yet. Well, why is not? Why is it not firing? Did Vix? Uh, Vix ended up contracting. Yeah, Vix ended up gapping down a little bit, so they didn't qualify. Well, here comes something. Let's see what trade steward says qualified. My Wednesday 70 minute trade just got filled. So that's on the 75 calls and the 55 puts. This filled at $20.75. All right, so maybe that's it. Uh, opt for dollar, what do you mean? What is the base amount for expected move? I'm not sure I understand your question. Yeah, so I'll look at, I'll do a, a Rick a little bit later in the morning. I will, I will consider doing a Rick. In fact, let's just see here. See what old Rick is trading at. Trading at about 1230. I've got the Wednesday AM 70 minute. So I got the 70 minutes. So let's see my Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Why would that not have triggered? I mean, VIX did gap down more than 0.25%. So that filter, I haven't checked the bot activity yet. Um, but let me see on my 70 minute, does it not have the same filter? Oh, that's why. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So my regular AM Wednesday didn't qualify, but the 70 minute does because it, it can gap. The VIX can gap down up to 4% on that one.
and it still be valid. SPX pushing up 12. NASDAQ up 40. Uh, Dan B, mine fired on the one that qualified with Trade Steward. Yep, I'm closing my calendars. Got to close my one, two, my two, four. I'll do my one, two first. It's up about five or six percent. Gonna get filled at twelve fifteen. Filled. I right, closed my one two. Looks like my two four is gonna be a about a scratch. All right, so posted my one, two, and my two, four. I've also got a two, three. I think that one's a little, oh, no, that one's going to, that one snuck out a little profit. After being a little underwater yesterday. All right. Calendar's coming back in action. Three winners this morning. One's, one scratch, two winners. And then I've got a three, four that I'll take off tomorrow. That one is pushing up. It's up above the call. Let's see. What's my, what is my exit criteria on that one? Yeah, 20 points past the strike. So it's almost it's almost in exit territory. 20 points past the strike would be my exit. It's basically there, getting there. 4770 would be 20 points above. So I'll give that one a little time. got a five seven that is uh down that one will come off today as well i'll give that one toward till the end of the day
So Dave S. and Dan B., your AM Iron Condors did not fire in Trade Steward? What is it? What does the bot activity say? Was it does it say it was outside? Oh, it says inside. I see, Dave. So how much how much time do you guys give your bots to fire? Because I had I had one issue, I think it was last week. No, not not that. I mean, like if you set your bot to start firing it. 831 or 931 then how long do you give it like two minutes three minutes because what would happen okay five minutes what happened to me on one um one morning last week was there was some delay from the td ameritrade data feed and so i only had like a two minute window and then it it was fixed, but my two minute window was up, so it it didn't fire. So I I I give all my all my bots like uh, four or five minutes now. Yeah, mine was set at nine thirty one a.m. You know, the one, the other thing that you can do if it doesn't fire, obviously, is you can use the little launch now button just to get it in. But I would, I would definitely submit a ticket to Trade Steward to see. I'm just telling you what happened to me the other day. I, I don't know if that would be the issue today or not. Yeah, ideally, I would only want it to have like a minute and a half window like that. That's what I had it at before, especially for the AM ones. You know, that few, couple minutes, two, three, four minutes makes a big difference. But, but there's always some snags with technology from time to time. Yeah, and that's what happened to me, Wuga. That's exactly what it did for me. It, it said bot was inside parameters, and then it just kind of trade opening attempt will continue, and then it just went blank. <laughs> the the uh, bot activity fell off a cliff. Looks like you can get in at a little better price than I did. Pumped a little bit of theta into this thing. Even though SPX is moving up. My five, by the way, my five seven is in exit tor <clears throat> exit territory as far as away from the call strike. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna give it the the morning here.
SPX popped up to 4770. Forgot to include one of my iron ducks in my morning update. Let me fix that real quick. I am not in the one day because it didn't qualify because VIX gapped down 0.39%. I was kind of thinking about skipping it anyway because um, because of CPI tomorrow. So those are the one day options, and I, I I'm assuming those will kind of stay bid. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and set up a theoretical position just to watch it. I meant to do that. So let's see my one DTE. I don't know what it was trading at at the open, but it's trading at about 13.05 now. Did you see what it was trading at at the open tomorrow? I just want to, I just want to watch it to see what kind of decay you get, you know, when the, uh, when the expiration is on a day like CPI. Okay. I'll just, I'll just hold this one just to watch it throughout the day. Got our short premium in the euro, still centered up a couple hundred. <clears throat> Got our hedgehog in ES, still profitable. Need a little push up in gold. If we get a little nice little bounce in gold, we'll be able to book profits in that one. MES. Close to rolling up puts again, but not yet. Natty gas. A little bit of a pullback after a big push higher yesterday. 
QQQ. We're up about 25% on the QQQ one. SPX, a little pullback down to 47.63. Really? They won't even... What do you mean? Excuse, like, you can't... How do, how do you select strikes then? You, I, I believe you can select strikes based on premium, can't you? Oh, meaning you like if you buy a three dollar put, you have to buy a three dollar call. Jeez, that's no bueno. That seems crazy. I do know a lot of people who use TAT definitely choose them based on premium amount, but I didn't even think about that they wouldn't allow you to do a different amount on each side. SPX coming back about a couple points above the open now. Okay, so if, so Cosmo, if you can do, so for an iron condor though, can you do different deltas on each side? No, apparently not. You're doing zero DTE manually. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's no, that's not good. Well, I will say that from what I understand, Tat is a one-man shop, and it's his side gig. Like, he's got a full-time job. Tat is just a little little side project. NASDAQ and Russell are now red.
Let's see what Rick is trading at now. About 12 bucks. So it didn't qualify based on the VIX print, Danby? So, Chris, if you go into your view bot activity, are you looking at my screen? View bot activity, and then uh, click here to see all activity for this bot. You'll see it in, in here. So, um, go to the open. Opening quote, 47, 60, 60. Yeah, so just go into your bots activity and then go to see all activity up there. Make sure you click that show all activity at the top above your, above the trade log. All right, SPX came back about to where we opened. Now a couple points above it. My 70-minute trade is currently down about 6%. Need a little decay and or a little bounce. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. I enjoyed spending my first 30 minutes of the market open with you. We will be back for power hour. And hopefully we can uh, squeak out another green day. All right, all. Take care. Have a good day.